Hello everybody, David Kanepa here from the Mixed Reality team at Microsoft. Today we're going to be talking about how to deploy a line of business app uh, to the HoloLens using Intune. So some of you might be wondering what is a line of business app. These are the apps that pretty much you've created that have been developed in-house in your company um, or you've had a partner or supplier created for you and it's an app that you use on a day-by-day -day basis but it is not on the Microsoft Store <clears throat> and you would like to be able to deploy this app to the HoloLens so your the users can be able to engage and interact with it. So we're going to be going through all the required steps in Intune in order to make this happen and we'll show you how to do this. So I'm going to be sharing my screen. And here we go. So what you're seeing here is the documentation that we have on how to be able to do this. So we're going to be using the with the deployment guide that we have on for corporate environments, which tells you uh, how to do this. Although this is also there's a brief mention in another section in application deployment on how to do it in the with using Intune. Um, so I will be linking to all of these documents in the uh, description of the video. So uh, what the application, in case if you don't have a line of business app, but you need to test this and get it up and going um, and get familiar with the whole process, um, in this uh, deployment guide, we provide a, a line of business app, a, which is the MRTK examples. Um, app which you can download and we can use this to to be able to to go through the process and the steps so i'm not going to download it because i already have downloaded it but if you click clear click here sorry it will automatically trigger the download and uh, once you've downloaded and uncompressed the zip file you will get this folder <clears throat> so i'm showing you this because it's really important that you have the following uh, elements uh, of your line of business app. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload it into Intune and then deploy it to the HoloLens. So mainly you are going to need three things. You're going to need the app itself, which is an APX file or an APX bundle file. You're going to need a certificate, which uh, you see here is a security certificate, which is uh, created uh, so all of these are created when you compile your application. And this is kind of a signature saying that this is a trusted app and uh, that it's safe to be deployed. And we're going to need to upload this separately. We're going to go into that. And then uh, you're going to need the dependencies folder because the HoloLens works with an ARM architecture and it will ask us for this here. As you can see here, we could see we have uh, the different dependencies and you'll see that Intune will ask us for this. So once we have this uh, and you have uh, these different components of your app, then you're OK to go into Intune, which is what we're going to do right now. Um, and we're going to create um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to deploy the security certificate to our HoloLens. So we're going to start here by creating a profile. We're going to select in this occasion Windows 8.1 and later. And then we're going to select a trusted certificate. We're going to click on create. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to put here uh, MRTK samples cert uh, click next and here i'm gonna click on this button to select the for the certificate and i need to go and find this which is here is i think it's that one let me just double check yep in here go in here and here's he the certificate we open that up and then we click on uh, next and we need to choose the devices uh, that where we would like to uh, deploy this app to. So mine is going to be this one, the whole lens devices. I click select and then I click on next. And I create this one. 
So now uh, what I could do is I could uh, sync my device uh, through Intune. So if I go to devices, I look for my device, which is the only one I have here. I can then click on here uh, sync and we should be good to go and it will push it. So now that we've pushed our certificate to the device, we can then go to apps. And then in we go to all apps here. And then we're going to add the application that we would like to. So here we create. So we are going to create a, a line of business app. You click select. Here we go, and it's asking us for the app package. So we click on here and then we click on this button and we submit. Well, we select the app package and then here you're going to see that Intune is asking us for the ARM64 dependencies folder. So we select we have to select these as well and go into dependencies. We go into ARM64, we select it. And here we go. Intune says, thank you very much. I'm happy now. Uh, we're all happy. So we click OK. And here you can see uh, the well, you can fill this out uh, depending on the characteristics of your app. These get filled in default by default by the what have you compiled your application. However, you can modify these and here's a little bit more documentation on what each of these categories are and what you can put into them. So I will also put a link to this documentation. Uh, and we're going to leave this as is for now. We click on next. Then we again we have to assign it to a group into the all to the devices that we want this app to be deployed. And here uh, it's important to highlight that you have required and then something that is available for enrolled devices to then kind of like download or choose if they would like to have it. Uh, person, what what we're going to do for right now is required because we want it to push it straight away. So we are going to choose. The HoloLens devices here, you can see that I have a group that is for autopilot. This uh, feature is also available if you're doing autopilot deployments and it will automatically get deployed to the HoloLens uh, as soon as the uh, user turns on uh, the device and if you have obviously autopilot configured in that way. So we click select. And here is something that's really important to highlight is what context you're having this app. This is right now on a user context. I would strongly recommend you changing this to a device context uh, because that way you want it, regardless of who the user is, you want it to be on the device. So you click on that, OK, and we click on next. Here we click on create. And you will see the application is created, but you have to wait in order for the application to be uploaded. And in the meantime that this gets uploaded, uh, it's really important to mention that it's you. There's a limit uh, to the size of the application that you are going to be uploading, uh, and this is mentioned in our documentation as well. And here you're going to see that Intune allows a maximum package of eight gigabytes. So please make sure your app is not bigger than that. Otherwise, it will fail to be pushed to the device. Um, so it, it will take a little bit depending on, I guess, your internet connection uh, and that. It will take a, a couple of minutes. And here we go. The uh, examples hub has been uploaded. And if I refresh this, then you will see the that it's now kind of like waiting for it to be pushed. So you can sync the device through Intune as we did with a certificate. Or you can also then, if we go to here, you can check in if we go into here deployment. Uh, in our guide and we check if the uh, validate if the Linus business app has been installed. You can go on the device itself to the settings page, then accounts, then access work or school. 
uh, and then you will see kind of like a Windows logo and your account, like the account you have. If you click on it, you'll see an info button. And if you click on that one, then you'll be able to see also a sync button. You can click on that uh, to trigger it. And then below that, hopefully you should see which uh, apps have been pushed to the device. Now, uh, my personal experience sometimes even after the sync, the app is still not there. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So what I would recommend is to reset your device. Um, sorry, restart your device, not reset it. That would be different. <laughs> so you restart your device. And uh, once you've restarted, the application should be there uh, on the device. If, uh, and if not, you can check also here to validate the um, the installation, you could see here how uh, in this section, how that is progressing or if there will be any errors, you should see them there. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the uh, comments of the video and let us know if there's anything else that you would like to know. Thank you very much. Bye bye.